All right, drumworkout.com, blog X on X date. We're here in my studio. I want to talk a little bit about, just for kicks, foot doubles for the right foot bass drum. Now, it's all about hands at drumworkout.com, but just for kicks, I figured, hey, why not put a little foot something in there, right? All right, so messing around. Incidentally, little shout out to Dorico Watson. I think that's how you do it. This little four stroke rough, totally ripped that off from him, right? All right, anyway, so how do we play doubles like that? Well, if you watch the foot, you'll notice that it's sliding up the pedal, okay? So the same way that the hands, when they play doubles, it's what the alley-oop technique is what I call it, where it's sort of a wrist finger combination. Right, if you look to the side, you can kind of see that the first stroke is a bit more wrist higher and slower stroke. The second one is more fingers, a lower, faster stroke. In order to get the same volume, right? And to not stress out the wrists or the hands. So at the foot, the same thing is happening, okay? When I play a slow double, I can keep it basically at the same spot, but to play faster, I use that leverage. So in the same way that the alley-oop is sort of a wrist-finger combination, on the pedal, you'll see the first stroke is further back as a setup where there's not a lot of leverage. The second stroke, my foot slides off really quickly toward the front where there's a lot more leverage. So I wouldn't get nearly that power if I was trying to stay in the same place. It is a little bit of ankle double, but it's mainly using that pedal that makes it work, right? So you can see that foot just slide up the footboard really, really quickly. Now I've some people, seen people talk about kick to the side, and in this context, some people's foot may do that, but ultimately it's the fact that they're going up the footboard that is the crucial element. Okay, the side, it's just extraneous motion, harmless, no big deal, right? So the way I learned this, uh, well, it's mainly Phil Collins' fault. When I was in sixth or seventh grade, I got heavily into Genesis, and he had an incredible right foot. He'd play groove something like. Weird stuff like that where there's tons of really fast doubles. And so I had to learn all those cool things and he played one bass drum, so I wanted to too. Okay, I love double bass drum, but don't let it be a crutch for developing that right foot double. So anyway, there's a song called Home by the Sea that I distinctly remember probably being in sixth grade. And it's a real simple groove. It goes like this. And I remember I just could not play it. And so I worked it, I worked it, and just stumbled and fumbled and finally got it. And so that sort of developed my foot a little bit, and I think subconsciously I was doing a little bit of that. And then of course there's the Zeppelin kind of thing like... You know, that kind of stutter thing, that's going to work in there too. It's the same exact concept. So a lot of it is just doing doubles. One uh, exercise you can do is play one and to two, three and to four, that rhythm. So. Now we're going to condense the double to a 16th note triplet. So one triplet the boat and one triplet um, like that. So you'd have 
and then finally condense it further so it's just the 30 second out. One, da da da, and one again, out of two, and one again, out of two. So. Oh, sorry, folds on the last one. So let me play a few bars of each one of those. So that's a really good way to develop it. Just take that pattern and mess with it. Generally, don't go faster than you can pull it off because that way you're sort of reinforcing within reason where it's actually functioning and you're practicing something correctly, right? So a little faster. So just a few examples of how I'd use that right foot. I do remember listening to some other drummers. I think Neil Peart was kind of my next big influence coming up. And the old da da bop on double bass. I did not have double bass. So, but I had a floor tom. And I think I actually ripped this off from Vinny, even if this wasn't what he was doing. It was something like that on the old Buddy Rich scholarship with Gad, Weckl, and Vinny which is kind of one of the greatest moments in the history of the instrument. So if you don't know that one, do yourself a favor, check it out. Okay, so anyway, doing those three would be bass, bass, tom, snare. Stuff like that, right? Or if you play a pa da da in one of those, a pa da da is a right left left. Okay, so a right left left foot foot tom snare. Now there's some work going on because you got to go uh, with that foot really fast forward up the pedal in order to make that happen, right? But as you do that, you will get faster and faster using the leverage of that pedal. So if I can, another example, I can do a roll. Right, so you can do all kinds of stuff. kinds of fun. Another fun pattern that I love is playing foot, foot, and then hand, and then a pot of the right, left, left. So. There's all kinds of fun you can have with the right foot diddles, okay? All right, that's a wrap.